This one's gonna go big. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're gonna have a look at Spin On It today. Because we had Mortal Wombat in the previous video, I thought we would do its sister machine, which is Spin On It. Now, Spin On It came first because that started on a £15 jackpot, whereas Mortal Wombat was always a £25 jackpot machine. And they're not actually clones, even though they look very similar, and indeed they are very similar. The key difference with Spin On It is it doesn't have the Platinum Impulse symbol. If you've seen the Mortal Wombat video, you will know that the Platinum Impulse symbol, specifically the Wax On Wax Off feature that you can get off that, is pivotal to actually being able to do the jackpot rips. That was something that they added in on Mortal Wombat. Spin On It doesn't have that. So you can't do Spin On It in the same way that you can Mortal Wombat. I believe there was something where you could try and get the jackpot set up off super hold. But to be honest with you, that's not something that I ever tried to do. I just forced these. We did have a couple of them around here. I remember them being in... God, there must have been a couple in the pubs. And there was definitely one in an arcade here as well. And I always just forced it out. If you got the timing right, you could get the natural streak on it, which was generally 45 quid. A jackpot on two repeats, or a jackpot on an invincible board and a repeat. Something like that. It was generally 45 quid. I think they could do 60 at the outer edge, but certainly once you were visiting them on a reasonably regular basis, your streak was generally 45 quid. So there isn't really a huge amount to this, and, and that's all I'm going to do in this video here. We are just going to force it out. It's had quite a few quid through it in autoplay, and it owes us a few bobs, so I'm actually hoping that we're going to get an invincible board. Um, it just seemed to be worth doing because we've done Mortal Wombat now and this is just to let you know that there is already a DX out there for spin on it. Specifically the DX here, this is by Tommy C. So thank you very much to Tommy for this layout. It's a great DX and it's a really good looking machine. I think spin on it on Mortal Wombat. You can see them here in a track mode. They both look really nice in a track mode. They've got both got great jackpot sequences and spin on it has some absolutely banging music when you're on the nudge or the cash column. So we're going to have a listen to that. Impulse seemed to have some really good sound people uh, over the years. In fact, I'm just trying to think, they always had good sound impulses, didn't they? They were uh, they were let down by the speaker. I mentioned this in the Mortal Wombat video, this cheap-ass little shit speaker up near the coin mech. I wish they would have spent like an... What would it cost them? Like an extra tenner a cabinet to have actually put a decent speaker in there. But the good news now, of course is that we can listen to them through decent speakers. So if you've actually got a decent speaker setup available to you, or some decent headphones, try and get them on for this when we get on the board, because it has some superb music, and we can do it proper justice now, unlike the real machines, which hobbled the, the really great sound and music packages that Impulse did with this horrible, cheap, shit speaker. So with that said, let's get going. So we'll put in... There we are, we'll put in run 30p a go here, £15 jackpot, and this machine should be pretty happy. I am hoping that we're going to get an invincible board off this, early doors, and some uh, a jackpot you know repeat what? on. There we are, that, that'll put me in, and I am just going to let, you'll have to just indulge me, because I'm going to let the music cycle around. If you're not aware of this machine, it really does have some of the best music when you're on the gamble here. You got what I need. Way to go. That's pretty funky, isn't it? I think that's pretty funky. It didn't go invincible, though. I thought it would go invincible, to be honest with you. Bring that be back. This, this really should be in a good mood, though. We've got a lucky seven, so we can go with that. What have we got? We've got no win available there, either. So we've got the same spin thing going on that you've got on uh, Mortal Wombat. Well, shall we also... Hmm, shall we also nudge in three quid? I mean, th this, is, this is all I did on the real thing, was to just force them out on, on the gamble here. Uh, you can slow that down. 
Where's the double cut? Because what we want to do is try and get the jackpot repeater. Oh, I missed the bloody spin. That was bad, wasn't it? We can exchange over. What we want really is to try and get the jackpot repeater up at the top. Which is we get, we get by spinning the wheel there. There we are. That's a bit more like it. There we are. Get some spins in now. Because your £15 at the top on the cash is just 15 quid. It doesn't come with a repeat chance. So you want to fill it up on the columns here. Bring that beat back. Um, well, we don't, well, we don't actually want to. What I want to do here, and we'll just collect that, and that'll put me a bit lower down. We've got it all going on here. We've got a life. We've got a look. Come on, that should... Uh, come on, give me a... Give me a spin. Give me a spin. Um, oh, I... Yeah, he should be winning these gambles. Why is it not giving me a bloody spin? There That's a spin. Love me, baby. Nice jackpot sequence too. Can we get a repeat? <laughs> we can indeed get a repeat. It may well have another one in it, you know. Let's see if we can get another repeat. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, so that's 30. Now, if you get in the proper streak... You would expect at least 45. So let's just see if we can get a follow on yes. jackpot or a follow on yes. invincible. Because you'd be wanting 45 quid. Oh, it says happy though. There's big shot. Oh, that was bad. Oh, invincible. There we are. That's what you want to see. So there we are. That is now an invincible board. So. <laughs> Nice follow on Invincible, which the real one did like to do as well. So that's another 15 at least. So 45, I mean, yeah, you know, you take 45 on the real thing. I'm hoping this one might have 60 in it, you know. And we're just going to take it out again, right? We're going to try and take it out again at the top. Get the jackpot repeater. And it is. Oh, there we are. That'll do it. That'll do it. So there we are. Another jackpot. So there's a nice, easy 45 quid on it. So we've got the jackpot sequence playing out again. They are a, a lovely looking couple of machines, these, aren't they? They had, they had, they had some, they had some uh, talented people in pulls. I mean, the Epoch hardware wasn't the best hardware in the world, but they actually got quite a lot out of it. Oh, there's a 60! <laughs> there's a 60! There we are, very, very nice. Because if you remember... Because Mayge, of course, Mayge were using Epoch, and do you remember how slow and laggy and horrible their machines were on the £25 jackpot? Like Italian Job 2, that, oh, that Italian Job 2, with the really long spins on the high-low reel, and they, they all just felt laggy yes. and crap and not nice to play. Well, Impulse were using exactly the same hardware, and they made really fast, playable machines. So it just goes to show that, you know, it's, it's down to these the sort of coders and the designers rather than the hardware and some... Oh, there, but that, that will probably be it, to be honest. 60 was about... That, that was about your lot on these. I don't think I ever had... Uh, don't think I ever had a 75 on the real thing. 40, 45 was about your average. If you were visiting them regularly, if they had, if they'd had um, a while to recover, or it's the first time you'd forced one out, you could get a 60 out of them. But they generally settled down to a 45. That was a nice result. There, <laughs> six quid in for 60 out. You'd take that, wouldn't you? So there we are. There's honestly, there's not actually a huge amount more to say about this one. I always just played it as a straightforward force. Maybe there is something trying to get the super hold set up. Obviously, you can't do it the same as Mortal Wombat because you haven't got the Platinum Impulse symbol. But you can. You saw it there. You can sort of exchange back and forth and, and get the, the reels move around. So maybe that was possible. But this was back in my, my straight force days. And to be honest with you, these were okay. Even, even without a trick like on Mortal Wombat, they generally didn't cost too much to force out. And hopefully they would streak. And even if they didn't streak, you know, you generally only cost you maybe I don't know, 10, 15, 20 quid to force it out. So it wasn't too bad in that regard. Anyway, and it was pretty easy to tell when they were on their ass as well. Because they just give you uh, 
really shit boosts and, and that from the bonus at four, and they'd be very reluctant to put you in the board. So once they were bored enough and in you some decent wins, it generally didn't cost too much to force them out. So that is just to let you know, really, that there is a Spin On It DX out there that was released by Tommy C a couple of years ago. So I'll say thank you very much to Tommy C for that one. Do be aware, of course, that we've got Woodsy's Mortal Wombat DX as well. Got the two machines side by side here. Spin on it came first, Mortal Wombat looks like a clone, but it isn't because it does have that subtle difference. But I will keep this one short, there's not really a huge amount to say about this one, and I just wanted to get out there that it really does have some of the best feature board music ever as well. So, thank you very much for watching, do hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will catch up with you next time. But for now it is, goodbye.